Sharon Stone has dominated the thriller genre for decades. From Basic Instinct to DC Comics' Catwoman, Stone has maintained her presence in Hollywood for years. Throughout her bustling career, she has worked with notable directors like Woody Allen, Martin Sarkis, and Paul Van Halen. Stone started as a mere extra on the set of Allen's Stardust Memories in 1980s. So, let's look at Sharon Stone's top 10 movies. Number 10. The Mighty, released in 1998. Kevin DeLon suffers from a disorder known as Marcus Syndrome, which weakens his heart and stunts his growth. Maxwell King has dyslexia and towers above his classmates. The two couldn't be more different, but when Kevin is asked to help Maxwell with his reading, they soon bond over their mutual social alienation and absent fathers. And that's not who you are either. Now, these two knights are on a crusade to bring chivalry back in style. They're for a means to rescue and dragons to slay. Set the wrong things right and prove that courage comes in all sizes. What does a bear go to bear have for dessert? There's chocolate pudding if Merlin agrees to do the dishes. Number 9. Above the Low, 1988. A martial arts expert and former CIA agent, Nico Toscani, is working as a Chicago cop when a relatively routine drug trafficking investigation leads to an international conspiracy. Soon, Nico and his partner, Delores Jax Jackson, are the targets of mysterious and powerful criminals, but he refuses to back down. As Nico gets deeper into the case, he must contend it with an old adversary corrupt CIA operative, Kurt Zagan. Feds come in, the doors close, nobody hears, smells, or sees anything. One man. You just made number four on the most wanted list. One obsession. I want to be number one. One rule. You guys think you're above the law. You ain't above mine. Number eight. The Specialist. 1994. Former CIA demolition expert Ray Quick lives in Miami, where he works as a hitman. May Mundro contacts Ray to kill a family of mobsters led by Tom Leon and his son, who murdered May's parents 20 years ago. Number 7. Broken Flowers, 2005. When his latest girlfriend leaves him, retired computer magnate Don Johnson has no greater ambition than to sit around the house. When he receives an anonymous letter from a former girlfriend claiming he has a 19-year-old son he's never met, Don doesn't even think to follow up it's not until his neighbor. A mystery fan encourages him that Don resolves to visit the exes who seem the most likely candidates and find out the truth. Donnie, is that you? What are you doing here? <laughs> women and women and women. Want to get a drink? No, I don't drink. Maybe get something to eat? I don't eat. Take a walk? I know you walk. I don't feel like it. What do you want, Donnie? Do you have a son? Number 6. The Muse, 1999. Screenwriter Steven Phillips seemingly has it all including an Academy Award for his latest script, but his hit and artistic dry pitch. So, his writer friend Jack Wackick recommends the services of Sarah Little, a woman he swears is a variable muse. Aaron Stone, Andy McDowell, and It's my job to inspire. It's a miracle. Who is she? Just try to have some fun today. What am I going to find? Why don't you go and then you can tell me? That's it. It's mystical. Told you. It's magical. Wow. It just might save my life. The music. Number 5. The Quick and the Dead. 1995. A mysterious woman, gunslinger, Ellen, saunders into the town of redemption looking for revenge. 
Her father was killed by the town's sadistic mayor, Herod, who is the midst of organizing a quick draw tournament. In a film by Sam Raimi, the quick and the dead. In this town, you're either one or the other. Number 4. Basic Instinct 2 2006 After a crash that kills her boyfriend, Catherine Trammell has her car searched by the police who filled illegal drugs. Prosecutors handling her case and Trammell to see psychiatrist Michael Glass. Glass determines that Trammell, a novelist whose books deal with sensational murders, might just be a dangerous person herself, but his findings don't prevent him from embarking so sexually charged relationship with a cunning culture. What are you doing here? What you said about me being addicted to risk, isn't that what turns you on? On March 31st. Oh, yeah. Don't play games with me. What do you think I killed you? Serving sick instincts. Basic instinct to... Number 3. Total Recall, 1990. Number 2. Casino, 1995. In early 1970s Las Vegas, low-level mobster Sam Ace Rothesian gets trapped by his bosses to head the Danager's Casino. Number 1. Basic Instinct, 1992. The mysterious Catherine Tremel, a beautiful crime novelist, becomes a suspect when she is linked to the brutal death of a rock star. Calls for the wrong woman. What happens? She kills him. Manipulates people. She's evil! Freeze! I have nothing to hide. You playing a game here? Games are over. 